excelling. Let's move the chat box out of the way. There we go. Very quickly, just sort of run through where we are at the moment and really just does reinforce what is going on in the markets. There's, uh, there's a lot of congestion building. These are the currency indices. Top left is the yen. Top right is uh, the dollar. Down at the bottom here, we've got euro. And over on the right, we've got the pound. Pound's in congestion, euro in congestion. The yen is 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 falling gently. Uh, no great momentum in it. You can see it over here. It's starting to come off. So in terms of risk sentiment, yeah, there might be a little bit of risk sentiment developing in to the indices. The dollar is just flip-flopping around going nowhere at the moment. Here it is. It's all over the shop. There's no strong trend there either. And really, to just to wrap up on, on a lot of the topics today is really around congestion. If we go to the currency futures, which are somewhere around here. There we go. Okay, this is on the currency futures. I've got the CSI over here. I've got the currency matrix. I've isolated this out on the dollar to give a perspective on the dollar because currency futures are very much based against the dollar. So the 6A here is the Aussie dollar. We've got the uh, cable, pound dollar here, top right. These are all on five minutes. Down at the bottom here, we've got the Canadian dollar, and this is the, the CAD dollar, not the dollar CAD. So it's CAD dollar, the dollar comes second, CAD comes first. And finally, over here, I've got the 6E, which is the euro dollar. And they're all pretty much displaying the same sort of characteristics. And the point I wanted to make is this, that whilst congestion uh, phases may not appeal as trading opportunities they do have certain advantages the one thing you have to have is patience but if you have the patience and you're prepared to wait for these to develop what they do give you are very very as i hope we've made the point earlier very clear levels of what you're looking for in terms of the opportunities to jump in either to the long or short side and those levels are generally very well defined. They certainly are here. We're, again, we're trading around the fulcrum of the market, the volume point of control itself. Above, we've got this very strong level of resistance overhead. You can see how it's been tested. It's absolute pinpoint accuracy. The, the indicator is based on price. It looks at how often a, an area is tested, and then it paints it thicker uh, every time that is tested and retested and holds. So this is a very strong level. We've got other levels down here. We've got little clusters here. We've got another cluster here. So these are strong levels. So if you're looking at this as an opportunity to the upside, there's two things. First of all, it defines the, the floor and the ceiling for you of that, that tunnel range, if you will. And secondly, once it does start to break away, provided it's associated with volume, where we move to the volume uh, price analysis methodology, and you're looking at the, the uh, whether it's a fake out or a true breakout, once that's confirmed, then placement of your stop loss is pretty straightforward. A, because you've got a tight range, and B, because all you've got all these levels to play with. So if you're breaking to the upside, do you put it below this level? Do you want to put it deeper? Do you want to put it deeper still down to this level? But it's all there. It's very simple. It, it, there's no great. Uh, you don't have to do any huge analysis to figure out where, uh, you know, where A, where to get in, and B, where to put your stop loss. This is the this is the pound. This is cable. Again, exactly the same. We've got the volume point of control, a very strong level of, of platform of support here with it. It's acting as support right now. You can see it. And we've got some resistance overhead. We've got some levels here, which are less important, but nevertheless, they are there and building. If it's retested and retested, it'll get ever stronger. And then once the market breaks, if it breaks to the upside, you're, you're moving up into this high volume region of, of, uh, of the histogram. It may struggle to get through that so you want to see rising volume on the breakout you want to see a good strong candle with decent volume and then where are you going to put stop loss well you might put it under here if you're if you can if your risk and money management uh, principles allow you set it in a deeper level you set it down here but it's all there for you it's in a very contained range it's very straightforward there's no great thinking involved exactly the same here on uh, cad dollar not quite so clear but certainly in terms of a break from here and the key point about this one is if you were going to jump in here with a break above this level, which is a very strong cluster, yes, it's a good platform of support. But in terms of what's in the way of the trade developing further, you've got this very strong level up here. So in terms of jumping in there, I'd say it's probably not a great idea because you're going to jump in. As soon as you jumped in, you're probably going to hit this level. So you're only talking a handful of points here, a handful of pips. So it's another facet of looking at the chart and deciding where you're going to jump in and what's in the way ahead of that particular trade. Finally, it's just a quick look at the euro. Exactly the same. Got a very nice ceiling building here at the top on the accumulation distribution again. That's pretty strong. That's been tested five times, so it's held. 
what's nice about this trade is that uh, obviously you've got the trend monitor you know it's telling you this is remaining bullish we're pulling away from this volume here which is falling away quite dramatically if you break through into 125 uh, 20 30 and beyond so if the market breaks through there um, you've got uh, you've got a very nice opportunity because you've got the volume which is falling away here on the histogram so there's very little in the way of of support and resistance or certainly in this case resistance from a volume perspective this is going to hinder progress higher so all things being equal if the dollar continues falling you know that's going to be a decent trade then of course you go down to maybe a 10 minute or a 15 minute do the same exercise because you want to see what's ahead have you got some strong levels of resistance ahead on that particular time frame if you have you might not want to jump in but nevertheless again it's very clearly defined as you where you might want to put your stop loss you might put it under this little cluster here if you want to go deeper, you might even go under here or even down to this level. It depends how much uh, risk you want to put on the table and what you're looking for in terms of reward. And that's all it comes down to. And when the markets are in this sort of phase of price action, a lot of traders hate it. Uh, we don't. We, we're always searching out congestion phases because from congestion phases, trends develop. And all you have to do is be patient and wait for them to come to you. It's as simple as that. But you just have to be patient and as, as human beings it's generally not something we're terribly good at oh um sorry i had the chat box closed down um the small that's a good question um there are micro lots on on currency futures for sure uh don't quote me on this but i think they are about a quarter size, something like that. Um, the primary contracts are $100,000, $125,000, so they are equivalent to uh, a, a full lot. Um, the micro lots, I think, are around, as I say, I think they're about a quarter size, so I'd have to check. Um, but you can certainly find them. Just head over to the CME site and you'll find them all there. The one word of caution I would give you if you're trading, this doesn't apply to. Um, index micro lots because they are very liquid and they trade with a very smooth price flow and therefore you will have a nice chart to deal with if you're trading any other micro lot whether it's a currency micro lot or a gold micro lot you will find them very spiky you won't find smooth price action and what you'll see is your the 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 chart will move to a price and it will pause and then it'll move to another price. You might get a bit of a candle and then a pause and then a bit more of a candle. So there is no, it makes reading the chart difficult. Um, that's not to say it's impossible because you could have a full contract chart running alongside to give you the, the VPA analysis that you need, plus all the other um, stuff that you also need as well. But um, that's, that's what I would caution you, please be careful trading micro futures in those markets and the same would apply to gold and some other micro contracts they're very I'll say they're very liquid they are illiquid they're not heavily traded the difference with the index futures the micro futures they are very heavily traded and they are very popular for the obvious reasons that it's attracted a whole new raft of people into that market who uh, do not particularly want to trade full-size contracts particularly big contracts the ES the NQ um, they're more comfortable trading these micro lot contracts. There's lots of people in there, and it's a great way to start on index trading. I'm sorry, you also answered me. You can trade currency against the dollar. In in currency futures, everything's traded against the dollar. It's still a pair. It's still a pair. It's the the only difference is that in currency futures, um, when you in in the spot market, you will have the dollar yen. In a currency future, you will have the yen dollar. So the value that you see is the inverse of what you see in the spot market, if that makes sense. So if you want to work out what the the value is in um, the currency future, you just take the spot value and you take the reciprocal of it. In other words, you you divide it by one, uh, because everything in futures in the currency futures world is quote traced against the dollar. So the dollar CAD is not the dollar CAD in the futures market is the CAD dollar. The dollar yen is not the dollar yen, it's yen dollar. So you'll see some curious numbers associated which you won't recognize, and that's the reason why. Hope that answers that one for you. 
There we go. And uh, just a quick whiz round. This is where you'll find us. You'll find Anna here over at annacooling.com. That's where all the books are. They're all up on Amazon. They're in uh, Kindle. They are in paperback. Uh, we have them in uh, China. We have them in Taiwan. We have them in Japan. And we're just about to um, sign a deal in um, Vietnam for the VPA book, which is very nice. So uh, yet another book out there. That's lovely. So they are have been translated, and they are in uh, in those languages, both. Um, sorry, Dan. And into Vietnamese, yeah. Um, so we're very proud of that, and delighted to be associated with those traditional publishers as well. Uh, this is the Forex program. It's called the Complete Forex Trading Program because that's exactly what it is. Um, it has all the modules there. Psychology of Trading is the one we always recommend you start with. Um, I know some of the students are sort of, you know, they want to get on with the indicators and, and all the rest of it. But, you know, that is the place to start because if you understand yourself, you will find out what suits your trading persona, your strengths, your weaknesses. It's all covered there. And there's, there's a, a whole um, section on you take a test and so you understand all the aspects of, of psychology and what makes you tick. So you, so you give yourself the best chance of success. The fundamental, the relational, where we look at all the related markets to understand how to determine what is going on in Forex, because Forex sits at the heart of everything. It is the kingpin around which all other markets rotate. It's as simple as that. And it's a fact that passes most traders by. And even those traders who have been doing this for many, many years do not seem to accept the fact that the Forex world is the one that sits at the heart of everything purely because it is the gateway of money. And it's as simple as that. Technical analysis module, it's a deep dive into VPA uh, and the mechanics of trading. And then you've, there's over 200 hours of video in here, pulling it all together, how to use the indicators, loads of chart examples, as you would expect, topic webinars. Uh, we teach reversal trading, trend trading, breakout trading, what tactics you're going to apply, um, you know, how you're going to approach this market, what's going to suit you, webinar library and a massive resources section. And it's all backed up with our VPA trading room which Anna and I host uh, every day. And uh, it's full of traders who are uh, helping one another or um, are they passing on the experience. And it's just a very friendly place. In terms of the indicators, they're all here. MT45, Ninja Trader 7.8 or TradingView. Uh, currently working on TradeStation. Uh, we are getting there, I can assure you. TradeStation 9.5, which is the relationship between interactive brokers and TradeStation. It's a fantastic combination because you've got a deep discount broker associated with a fantastic trading platform. And version 10, which is trade station securities, we've got radar screen on both, which is great. Got some uh, the, the indicators work on on in a fantastic way the radar screen, so you can put them on there, and you get a complete array of what's going on across the multiple time frame. It's just a brilliant way of, uh, of of presenting the data in a very compact form. Very very powerful platform, great data feed. So it's it's really we're really excited to get that one launched. Once we've done that, we're going to be dropping back onto Trading View. Uh, and pulling that, uh, pulling the rest of the indicators across on there because we've now got uh, uh, object drawing and line drawing available. So we, we've got the facilities, which we didn't have before, to really get those other indicators ported across. So hopefully we'll get the currency matrix on there, the currency array, all the other good indicators as well. So the, the packages will all be equivalent. Once we've done TradeStation, we're going to be moving on to multi-charts. And then once we've done multi-charts, we'll be moving on to another platform building up the portfolio. And remember, whatever you invest in with us, whether it's one indicator or full package, you've always got the option to port to another platform. There's no cost involved. We just do it for you. So if you're on MT45 and you want to move to Ninja Trader, and they're all pretty much equivalent, the indicators anyway, there's one or two minor differences, but we always work it out for you anyway. Uh, you, you can port them across at no cost. We do it for you. It's just our way of saying thank you. And the same applies if you buy the full package, you get all the future indicators we develop free of charge as well. No one else does that. We do because we like to look after our customers as best we can. And that's just one way we do it. And they're all backed up by 24-7 support. And uh, all the uh, upgrades, updates, the indicators, you don't, you never pass another penny. That's it. It's all done and dusted. There we are. I hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today. We will be back on Tuesday morning, 7.45 UK time for the London Forex session. Uh, enjoy the rest of the trading day. Uh, looks as though you're going to have to be patient today. Um, maybe tomorrow will be a big money day. You never know. If it is, you know, jump in there and fill your boots. That's it. We're done. And we will see you again soon. Thanks so much for coming along today. We enjoyed doing it. We hope you've enjoyed it. And we will see you again soon next week. Have a great weekend. See you next week. <laughs>